Uh, we're about to get to the season of the year where people have community festi festivals and community fairs, the Missouri State Fair, the Ozark Empire Fair, the carnivals that occur in our state, the six to 10 month travel destinations like Silver Dollar City or Six Flags or Worlds of Fun. Uh, if you lose part of that season, that season is lost and you're not gonna get that May or that June or that April back. Not gonna be able to tack it on by saying, well, we'll just be open in January to make up for the people that would have been at our theme park in June. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna have the Ozark Empire Fair in Springfield, Missouri some different time of the year uh, than August because August is hard this year. I noticed today the Olympics in Tokyo, they just announced they were gonna postpone by one year. That year, you never get that year back. You never get that fair back. You never get that county fair, that agricultural opportunity to look at agriculture and horticulture and local industry back once it's gone whether it's the midway operations or the part-time workers that make those things work, all those things are getting away from us. Uh, and we've got to begin to look, and I think we'll do that more in part four than we were able to in part three. How do we go back in and be sure that as much as possible, we've protected these businesses and these not-for-profits so that a year from now, they're still around? How do you miss all or part of this year's activity and still be there next year? So we've got our work cut out for us. It won't end with the bill we're working on right now. Let's get our business done. Let's get started on finding out the gaps that still need to be filled. Uh, let's do what the American people expect us to do and treat an emergency like it's an emergency, not like it's an opportunity.